Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Passionate Kelsey and welcome back to another very passionate vlog. It's late. It's not super late, but it's like 1.30. I've been sitting in my chair all morning and rotting on my phone, procrastinating. But um, let's get started. We have some stuff to do, of course. We always have stuff to do. A nap? No. First, we shall open up some packages that I have from the Joanne. These are all a part of my order that we put in, I don't know, two, maybe three vlogs ago. It was 120, 130 bucks. I also put in another order and I ordered some Lily Sugar and Cream cones and that's because we're out of black. We're still out of black. I still have yet to finish this ruffle top. I'm just waiting for it to get here in the mail. It's taking forever. And yeah, I ordered, I think, three black cones because I used a lot of black yarn. And then I ordered another one, which I'm pretty sure is right here. But of course, they never ship anything together. So we've gotten like probably seven packages out of two orders. Anyway, let's see what's in these ones today. Let's go from smallest to biggest, yeah? So we'll start with this one. Oh, we learned that they're perforated last time. Yeah. This is huge. They sent me one skein of strawberry lily sugar and cream. I ordered six of these, I believe. I got four of them. This would be number five, I think, unless we got five the first time. But, you know, one. We got one. Okay. I'll take it. Next. This one, it feels like a cone. And I hope it's the black one. Although I ordered like five cones at least. And this is only one. Mm. It is not black, but it is brown. Warm brown. I bought this because I don't make a lot of brown things often, honestly. And I've noticed that, so I'm trying to make more brown things. I have one brown cone already over there, but it's like half used, so I thought I would just buy another one because as you can see right now, I'm out of black and it's taking forever to get here. I should always just like, as soon as I get to my last cone and I start using it, I should probably order another one so that it gets here. I don't know. Sometimes they ship like really fast and sometimes they take a long time. It just depends on where it is. Because like two of these packages, I looked and I saw where they came from. Two of them came from Arizona. One of them came from Missouri, which I'm in Missouri. That's why there's so many different packages because they're all just being shipped wherever. I don't know. I'm not bothered, I guess. Like I like opening packages and it's fun. It would just be much cooler to get like a giant box and open it all at once. Would it? I don't know. I'm gonna put this uh, back here, I guess, on my shelf somewhere. Cool. Last but not least, I mean, actually it's the biggest one. Okay, this one's taped so we cannot do our perforated edge. Wait, can we? Aha, we can. Oh, there it is. There's the sixth one. At least they got here at the same time, I guess. So that's one skein of strawberry lily sugar and cream. And then we have one, two, three, four skeins of the Crown Jewels ombre color for lily sugar and cream. And it looks like we have more Big Twist Party yarn. Big Twist Party, and this one is the color Rainforest. This one's really pretty, a mix of green and blues. This one doesn't feel as soft as its brothers and sisters. 
or maybe I just have rough hands today. Who knows really? Okay, so in total, we got two skeins of the Strawberry, four skeins of the Crown Jewels Ombre, three skeins of the Big Twist Party Rainforest. We got one brown cone up there, and that's it. That's it. And I have more yarn coming. I should have a few black cones. I don't know if I ordered another color in the cones. We'll see. Oh, and then I definitely also have more Lily Sugar and Cream coming because... I bought some new colors that I had never used before. It'll get here eventually. You guys hear that? The next thing that we wanna do is pack some orders because we have some orders. We currently have eight orders. A few of them we can't do right now. That would be the black ruffle top can't finish it because we don't have black yarn another one we can't finish is a custom peak boob top that is also black so can't make that everything else a lot of them are scrunchies and we have one cardigan and one top that we can make so we got to get busy okay packing orders let's see oh okay First we have an order for Tamala and it is two angel scrunchies. Next we have an order for Amy. That is going to be two mystery scrunchies, two angel scrunchies, and four of our mint scrunchies. I made this mystery one last night. Isn't it fun? Anyway, here's the other mystery. It's lilac with angel on the edges. Next, we have an order for Darian, and that is going to be two lilac scrunchies and two angel scrunchies. Last, we have an order for Talia, and that is going to be some lilac scrunchies and an extra large pink peek boob top. That's all we can pack today. Those are all packed. We have four orders left. Two of them we cannot make because they are black. We don't have the black yarn. And then the other two we can make. So let's make. The first one is another Granny Hexagon cardigan. This one is cropped so it won't take as long. And it is also a smaller size so it won't take as long. So. The last one took three days. I'm gonna give this one two days. I feel like I'm, I'm gonna be going a little bit slow. My hands, specifically my forearms, like my muscles, they're a little bit sore after making all of those granny squares the other day in my last video. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit slow. I'm gonna give myself two days. Maybe we can do it in one, but I doubt it. Cause it's, I mean, it's already two o'clock, so. This one is for a child. I've got the measurements that I need and they said they would like it to be 
a nice mix of blues and purples. So once again, I think we're, we're pretty much free to choose the color palette as long as it's blue and purple. And I just, I wanna have fun. I, I want to, first of all, I wanna look and see if there's scrap yarn that we can use up, cause that would be great. And I think that I'm just gonna do this on like a row by row basis. We'll see how it goes, okay? First, I am gonna take the measurements. I'm gonna do the math and figure out how many rows and what our finished measurements should be. So give me a minute. So my math is not mathing or they sent me the wrong measurements because initially they told me it was for a 12 year old. The measurements are matching up on the size chart with a children's size four, which children's sizes, they match their age. So like a four year old. And I'm not sure if that's right. So I sent them an email and I was like, hey, is this right? I just wanna make sure before I make your order I really would not want it to be too small. So I guess we're gonna wait until they email me back. So moving on, I guess. The other order that we have is for another ruffle top and it is made in the pan pride colors. So we need some yellow, pink, and blue. Let's see what we've got over here. We've got our hot pink first. The color name is hot pink. Do these match? Yes, these are the same color lot. Fantastic, so I can use up this one and we'll start on this one. And then we need yellow. We have this, which will not be enough, but I have more yellow up there, of course. There we go. And lastly, we need a blue, a light blue. Do we have a blue like that? So we have cornflower blue, but the flag blue is definitely a lot brighter than this. Let me look through my, you know, wait, yeah, you know what? I think I have yarn like that. I think we have a lily sugar and cream that's like that over here. Let's see if we can find it. Here it is. So we have our pink right here. We have our yellow right here. And then we have our blue. So we could do this one or we could do this one. Here's a flag. I think this one is better. It just fits better because these, I mean, yellow is like, yellow is yellow, but the bright pink would go better with this bright blue rather than the cornflower blue. So let's do this one. It is now break time, so I'm going to get myself some lunch, have a little snack. I gotta take my dogs out, let them tinkle, and we'll be back. Look at this, boys. Look at this. What is that? What is that? What is <laughs> They don't care. For lunch today, we're having a corn dog, some chips, and a Dr. Pepper, which is very fitting for today. All right, let's see what we got in these boxes, huh? Start with the little one, I guess, since it's sitting on top. I think these are both Joanne. I don't I don't think I've ordered anything else. We've got some more lily sugar and cream in here. I have two hot pink, which is good because we're about to use some. And then I bought four of the kelp color. Because remember, we used the kelp for the first time to make a lily top, and I was like, this is so freaking adorable. So I, I have more over there, but I just wanted to buy more, 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 more yarn. Never ending yarn. But they're amazing. Look at them. Kelp might slowly be becoming one of my favorite colorways. Maybe. Oh, next. What do we have here in this gigantic box? These are Lily Sugar and Cream, but these are some of the different colors that I bought that we never tried before, you know? So, let's see how they look in person. 
they all came like this because they all come in a six pack also they were on sale but these are the little ones so i normally buy super size this is four ounces but these are the regular size and then these are uh, two ounces so it's half the size i always buy super size because i use a lot of this yarn i'm not sure if you save money on that or not i just if there's a bigger option why not i wish they sold every single color in the cones but fortunately they don't oh my gosh so sorry are you okay our first color that we have is this is called grage ombre grage g-r-e-i-g-e -E, grage and i mean that's pretty much what it is it's like it's a bunch of different shades of gray it looks like there's like a little bit of pink in it. I don't know. See like this strand right here? Doesn't that look a little pink? I don't know if you can tell on camera. But, I mean, it's pretty much, it's gray. It's grayish. It's grays. Next color we've got is called Stoneware Ombre. This is a mix of green, blue, and peach. It's kind of orangey, kind of pinky. Probably more orangey. That's nice. Not bad, not bad. We'll see, I wanna see how they work up, you know? Like if I make tops with them. I think next time I write a top pattern, I should just make each size in a different new color. <laughs> Cause I have quite a bit of new colors around. Okay, last we have this color, which is Mango Madness, tropical. This one is yellows, greens, white, and um, I mean, I guess red, but not really red. It's more like a dark orange. Yep. Here we go. Could be interesting. Could also be terrible. I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. I think this color would be great for kitchen towels. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That's all, that is all we got. Still no black yarn. But I think maybe that's it for the first order that I put in. It comes in so many different boxes. I, I need to just look up the order and like go back and forth, make sure I got everything, whatever. Now I'm gonna get to work on our order, which is the pan pride ruffle top. Of course, we're gonna start with our pink. We're gonna make cups, work our way down to the ruffles. You know, you know. I don't know if we'll finish today because like I said, my arms are a little sore. I'm gonna take it slow. I'm just gonna crochet at a normal, I'm not gonna rush myself. A lot of times I rush myself, especially when I'm making videos because I wanna make a lot of content. Why am I doing a magic circle? But I'm gonna, we're gonna do leisurely and I'm gonna watch television. You know what else? I'm gonna text my boyfriend and ask if we can go out to dinner tonight. Let's get started. Something, a prize, a teddy bear. We have one cup done, another cup mostly done. We have convinced the man to take us out to eat. So let's go. Look at us, home. We had some nice, good old Texas Roadhouse rolls. Uh, I'm gonna continue working on this. It's 6.30. Maybe we can finish it tonight. Maybe, the whole thing. I actually do need to make one of every size of my ruffle top so that I can create a measurement chart of it. Cups are done. I'm about to do the outline and the straps and then we'll start on the ruffles. I just finished with the pink. So all we have left to do is three rows of yellow and then three rows of blue. I should be able to finish tonight. We just started watching a movie. What are we? Persona! 
We're watching Persona 3 the movie number one, Spring of Birth. Neji is enthralled. Well guys, I couldn't finish the top tonight because Neji insisted that we have some cuddle time. So, you know, it was necessary. But it should be easy and quick to finish tomorrow. I got two rows done of the yellow. I gotta do one more and then three rows of blue and we'll be set. We'll just have this ready for us to finish up tomorrow. All right, new day. Peep the merch, link in the description. We're gonna get back to work on this ruffle top. I don't think it will take very long. And I got an email back from our cardigan customer. We got all of our measurements sorted out and we can start on that today. So that's great. Ugh. Oh no, stop it. Stop. Why is this in a knot? Oh my God. Hello? Honestly, okay. I could have finished this last night, but I, I got a little bit caught up in maybe rewriting the ruffle top pattern First of all, I was, I like, I just sketched out like a little size chart, this, this thing, so that whenever I'm finished with this, I can take the measurements and put them in the size chart because I've talked about this in my vlogs before, but I am transitioning all of my patterns to go from like a bra size sizing chart to just like the measurements of each finished size so that people can just look at the measurements, compare them to their own body, and you know, figure out what size works best. I think that is a little bit easier than, you know, finding your bra size, and also it might be a little bit more accurate. But I'll also have like a suggested size chart, you know, like basically I wanna have both, kind of. Anyway, so I was like, I started making a side chart and then I opened up the pattern because I was gonna look over it and then I was like, I wrote this pattern quite a bit ago and um, it could use a little bit of refreshing. So then I started refreshing and then I got a bit sidetracked for about an hour. It's okay though. I generally do want to revamp or I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna say rewrite because a lot of it's gonna be like copy pasting and just changing some wording and stuff. But I do want to like redo a lot of my earlier patterns. I just want them to be on the same level as the patterns that I'm currently writing, which are good, I wanna, I wanna say, according to me. But I also thought that the my first patterns were good at the time that I wrote them years ago. Anyway, it's just a slow process that I'm working on over time. It's not, it's not like a pressing issue. You're guaranteed to get hurt. Do you need something? What do you want? What do you want? There we go. I'm just gonna weave in my ends and then we'll be done. I'm gonna take some finished item measurements and then we will start working on the cardigan. Okay, so our pan pride ruffle top is officially finished and measured. Here it is, beautiful. Next on our agenda is going to be this cardigan. Once again, I don't know if we can finish it today. A one day cardigan, that's pretty, I've, I've done it before, okay. But it was a lot. Like I said, it is a kid size. So like, since it's smaller and it's cropped, like maybe, maybe it'll be fine. Anyway, they want a mix of blues and purples. So I think I'm just gonna like go through my stash and pick out a bunch of stuff that would be fun. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start in the center, obviously like you do on every hexagon cardigan. And I'm gonna add row by row, just feel it out as I go, I think really. But um, first let's grab a bunch of blue and purple yarns and let's set them out on our table. I'm gonna start with the yarn that we used on our last cardigan. Anything that's like little, like this, I think that is a good option so that we can use it up. This is a dark blue purple back here 
was quite a bit of purple, honestly. This is the last blue. This is the other blue. So let's have some more like royal blue colors. Oh, great. Yeah, we use that. Lighter blue, definitely. So far we have an okay selection of blues and one purple. Does maroon count as purple? I don't know. I don't know about that. I'll set it over here as a maybe. It's a maybe. Um, we have this. Yep. Hmm. Terry. I'm gonna look in this box, see if there's any scraps we could use. Here's purple. I feel like this is the same purple as the other one. No, it's a bit different. We need a light purple. This is blue. Here's purple. It's got some white in it though. This is also blue. Okay, I found a couple more. I think we have a pretty good array. Not sure if we're gonna use everything, but we'll see. I'm gonna start with the smaller pieces, which would be like this one. All the purples are pretty sizable. Maybe this one because we need to use these on the smaller rows because they will run out the quickest. So I think I'll put this one in the center since this one is teeny tiny. Or, hmm, I wonder if it can make the second row. Do these look good together? Okay, we'll get started. I'm gonna use a 6.5 millimeter hook like I did last time and all is good. I've only done the first three rows. So far the colors look nice, pretty together. I'm trying to match them up well throughout the cardigan. Anyway, I'm gonna take a lunch break now, tend to my dogs, and um, we'll get back to it. I gotta be honest, I made me and Caesar some sandwiches for lunch, and then I fell asleep. I took a real good nap for like two hours. <laughs> Oh, now I'm going to get back to work. <sighs> Alright guys, um, this is how far I've got. And I, I mean, I started another row on, on this other one, but this is how far I've got. And it is really late. It's like midnight. I took a break for a while because I was looking at it. I wasn't sure about colors I was like I don't I don't know what to pick next I did a row with this color but I it looked silly and I had to take it out and I was just I needed a break I needed to step away but also I haven't been feeling well today unfortunately I've been having um auras which is an epilepsy thing and whatever so we're gonna have to end this vlog it's it's time to go it's time to go to sleep sorry <laughs> We will finish this cardigan off in our next vlog. Okay, this is just incentive for you guys to come back. <laughs> so I'm so sneaky like that. But anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from me, subscribe to my channel. And that's all I have to say. I'm very sleepy, very tired, and I gotta go. So, bye.